Hi, I'm here today with Dr. Luisa Kirstenetsky. She's a PGY1 pharmacy practice resident at UW Hospital and Clinics. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So to get started, could you talk a little bit about what got you initially interested in clinical pharmacy? Yeah, so I actually have been interested in pharmacy ever since high school. And so I was just kind of a chemistry girl. And my chemistry teacher, senior year, encouraged me to go to this event called Discovery Day. And that was actually at the UW School of Pharmacy. So I just drove up and went to that. And that was back when pharmacists would get like eight job offers right after pharmacy school. And it just seemed like a really exciting field to go into. So ever since freshman year of undergrad, I was on the pre-pharmacy track. And then just kind of as I started getting into my classes, I really fell in love with the field. Awesome. So moving forward with that, could you give a bit of a background on your pharmacy career up to this point and your current position as a pharmacy resident? Yeah, so I had um, determined pretty early on that I was interested in pharmacy. And so I got a job as a technician as a sophomore in undergrad at UW Hospital. So I was working in the inpatient pharmacy, delivering medications, helping nurses order IV um, drips and everything. And I just loved the environment. It was like home already. And then I kind of moved into the position um, after second year of pharmacy school. I became an intern. And then as a fourth year, I was an uh, API residency track student. So I kind of just started in 2009 working at UW Hospital and never left. So now I'm currently a PGY1 resident over there. Um, just couldn't get enough. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. So for some people who might not know, could you explain a bit about what the API RT or the API Residency Pro Track Program is? Yeah, so that is, during your fourth year, your rotations are basically focused about, around getting a residency. So most of them are hospital focused. Um, and you also have a residency, uh, a project that simulates a residency project. So it's a year-long project and helps you develop certain skills to prepare you for residency. Amazing. So that's actually helped you grow a lot and kind of mold yourself into the pharmacy resident role. Absolutely. Great. So during pharmacy school, what did you do outside of academics to kind of hone in on those clinical skills? So um, actually right away when I first started learning about medications and I was working at the hospital, I'd be delivering medications and <laughs> like going to the psych unit, oh, I'm delivering this and now I know what it is, like citalopram, yeah. <laughs> so it kind of started there just by seeing, recognizing drugs. Um, that was kind of a cool way to quiz myself while I was at work instead of studying. Um, <laughs> I also did medic clinics, which is a really cool way to um, be around other disciplines, so med, med students and PT students. and just kind of exercise what I've learned so far in school, even as a first or second year pharmacy student, and it was a really cool way to start using those clinical skills um, since everything up to that point had been pretty didactic. And then the last thing that I actually did as a fourth year was a clinical skills competition. So I started off um, at the local level at the pharmacy school, just did some um, little tests and scenarios, and I ended up, um, me and my partner and I ended up going to the national level, so at mid, the mid-year competition, um, we did that. So that was uh, an awesome way to just get involved and just practice. Awesome. And that was the ASHP Clinical Skills Competition, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Congrats on that. Thanks. It's amazing. Um, how did you begin your involvement with organizations, and what role did they play in professional development and your career path up to this point? I think professional organizations were a great way to kind of play into my school career. So you kind of have the school part and then it was great having something else to supplement it. So it something that kind of gave you perspective into the career. So I was involved in the student senate. I was secretary my second and third year. So it was really great being involved in decisions that affected the entire student body. Um, and it's just beyond the classroom, just sort of taking you know everyone's needs into account and delegating all of the budgeting to the different organizations that was really valuable and just skills that you sort of start developing as a student that you can take into any job. Um, another role I had was as medic referrals coordinator. So medic is a student run clinic. It's uh, generally run by the, the um, medical students but pharmacists, pharmacy students are involved also. So that was a really neat way to, so it was kind of a, in the back end, the background of things, we would take all the referrals that were made during 
um, the, all the different clinics. On a weekly basis, we'd go in and kind of help um, plug in the patients into the different free clinics. That was a really neat way That's to amazing. kind of help the community. And you were a referrals coordinator, correct? Yes. So that was a leadership role for you in yes. that organization. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You've been so involved. So that's, <laughs> that's great to see. Mm -hmm. So moving along to choosing residency, what were mm -hmm. some factors that you considered in your selection process? So I think that we're very fortunate in Wisconsin to live in a very progressive state. So PSW is one of the only organizations that kind of encompasses the entire state instead of having little organizations spread throughout the different um, states. And so I think that coming from Wisconsin, I was looking to stay or go somewhere very progressive. So in my search, I was just looking into institutions that were kind of pushing the boundaries of the profession. And so I looked all over and just sort of looked for a place that was very progressive and very, um, I guess, determined just to make pharmacy the best and in interacting with physicians and patients and things like that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And within Wisconsin, choosing between the different pharmacy residency programs, kind of what did you look for? What were the key things that you were looking for in a program that really stood out to you? So I really do value the environment in an academic learning academic learning hospital. So just with other learners, other, you know, the uh, medical doctor learners and other pharmacy learners, um, I think it's a really great environment where you just learn alongside each other and, you know, like mm -hmm. different professions just feeding off each other and going on rounds together. And then also that may, means the mentors and preceptors just are used to teaching and they love to, they're hungry to teach and just the environment is just hunger to learn. Great. Mm -hmm. So you were kind of touching on this, but what does a typical day look like for you? What are the biggest challenges that you face and what's been the most rewarding for you so far as a resident? So a typical day would probably be starting off with in the morning of rotations for about eight hours and so that kind of changes up every month or so and so um, a typical rotation you would um, work up your patients in the morning might have to show up a little early to make sure you monitor them very thoroughly and then you go on rounds with the physicians and um, sometimes the pharmacists will go along with you kind of depending on where you're rotating and and I think that's really my favorite part is just kind of seeing what the doctors are thinking about and seeing how must how much they rely on pharmacy to answer their questions you know they 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 ask you questions and you just have to be ready to kind of predict what they're going to ask and even if if not just know exactly where to look and it's just kind of an exciting way to be involved in the team and feel like you're contributing so that's definitely my favorite part um i think the most challenging is probably just not having enough hours in the day <laughs> so you want to do all these things like the hospital has so many opportunities to learn like a bajillion things and there's just not enough hours to do all of the learning, all the patient care and all the projects. So, Sure, that yeah. makes sense. There's never enough time in the day. No. So it goes. Yeah. So how have you adapted to resident life from student life and how does it compare and what has been the most helpful for you in your transition? Yeah, I think that definitely pharmacy school prepares you to be a resident, um, especially during the fourth year with rotation. I would say definitely take fourth year rotation seriously. Um, you know, don't just stay the very minimum eight hours a day. Just really um, take it for, you know, it's you get out of it what you put into it. So um, really dedicating to more than just, you, you know, dedicating all of your time to patients and to projects to help these patients would be very valuable. One thing that I found um, that I've had to learn to do is to ask for feedback. So people aren't always going to be following you around being like, you should do this better, you should do this better. It's almost um, like you have to be proactive about getting feedback and that shows your preceptors that you really are hungry to improve um, because they, nobody expects you to come out of pharmacy school perfect knowing everything. <laughs> they know that there's a lot of deficits, a lot of things you're going to learn. It's all all about your attitude and how how you seek that knowledge that is going to help. Definitely, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what do you think set you apart when you were applying for residency and what can students do to make themselves stand out as they're applying for residency? Yeah, so I think something like having certain leadership roles just um, speaks to how you interact, how you can lead a group, and how you interact with others, communication skills. So I would say you don't have to be the president of WSPS, but just being involved in, 
you know, starting off in an organization that interests you and then sort of working into um, roles like committee roles and then start like slowly developing into leadership roles and just being really passionate and involved in a couple things as opposed to being in like six different organizations and just being all over the place. I think that passion and dedication to a couple different things is definitely very valuable and it should not be undermined. Definitely. So not really just, you know, kind of spreading yourself so thin but not really having much substantive, substantive um, involvement in those but really getting involved in a few things that you can really dedicate yourself to. Exactly. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So going along that, what words of wisdom do you have for pharmacy students that are considering pharmacy residency? So definitely realize that in the application process, like, you have all of this time to build up your CV and be awesome, but when it comes down to interviewing, they just want to work with people who are um, down to earth and cool to work with, you know? When it comes down to it, it's not going to be what how you look on paper, it's how you interview, how you interact with patients, how you interact with your co-residents, and just being somebody who they want to work with alongside every day. And I guess another thing totally unrelated that I would say, if I could go back and start over, what I would do is I would be involved in some sort of manuscript writing or publishing, even if it's a small article in a local journal, just getting your name out there and start kind of developing those writing skills. Um, that's definitely something that residencies look at and that I had no idea coming in. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I think communication skills, as you're saying, is really important. So kind of finding ways that we can hone those throughout the pharmacy school so that once we get to interviews, once we get to working with patients, we can really develop those relationships well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. I know your advice is really helpful for, for other pharmacy students as well. So thank you yeah. so much for your time. Thank you so much.